Hi everyone, this is Lee again. Uh, thanks for watching my videos, um, as always. Um, so I checked um, the last time I posted the new video, it was in August. So it's almost three months for me to make a new video. So uh, I think um, it is time for me to um, pay some of my debts here. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use um, Docker and traffic to um, deploy a ghost blogging platform on your personal VPS. Um, so let's get started. First, I will just open my browser and my terminal as usual. Then I will log into my server. All right, so, all right, so already got a traffic instance. So let me just remove that. And remove this container. All right, so it should be more clear. All right, um, I just want to do everything from the from scratch um, for the viewers who might not be uh, familiar with traffic at all. So you can follow my instruction um, step by steps to build your um, um, ghost block. So please go to my um, blog and then go to traffic config. Uh, now let's get started. So just copy these commands to create some files. Um, please note I will be using um, my existing um, acme.json file because I've got the uh, certificate already. So I don't want to get certificate every time I do some demonstrations. So let me just copy that to the data file and change um, the permissions. All right, so let's start filling the contents here. Um, first, I will need to set paste and paste the content and then change the domain to my domain. In this case, this is my domain. Save. All right, so the second file here is the static configuration file. Let's just copy and save. Let's try first. Okay, this time I can paste it successfully. So let me just replace the domain here. Oh, so it should be percentage. Should be fine now. All right. All right. So the next one is the dynamic configuration file, which has our middlewares and TLS options. All right, so data, configuration, and dynamic. All right, so this time I need to set the pace again. So, all right, looking good. So let's just start my traffic. Ah, before we start, I need to create a network. Network create proxy. Well, I don't need to do it now because I have already done it. Um, so. Uh, well, if you ha already have a network proxy, oh, let me just remove that. Remove proxy. Yep, and then create a new one. So, and now we can start our traffic instance. Good. So, let's have a look. Traffic. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, you can see um, traffic is up and running and successfully. Um, the current version of traffic is 2.3.2 .2, um, and in version 2.3, I believe, um, traffic introduced um, a new um, feature. It's called traffic pilot. So essentially you just, you can register your traffic instance with traffic labs and um, they will do the health checks of your traffic instance. If it's failed, they will send you a notification. And you can also use some of the um, plugins um, to to your um, traffic um, and the services inside. Um, if I have time, uh, I probably will find some time to make a videos about that. But I, you can find plenty of articles and videos, good contents out there. All right, so let me just um, go to the next step. So come back to my block um, and find this blog post and 
we just start making files and filling the contents okay so this is making the files filling the contents so let's just go to the folder first and let me just set paste and paste the content of course I need to change um, the domain here looking good the next thing I need to fill in is um, the config.production.json file so basically what I did here is I I'm setting the environment as the production environment and also I'm using um, SQLite here as the database I uh, for personal blog I think SQLite is a perfect match so you don't have to start a new container to um, for example the MySQL container to attach to your ghost blog um, yeah that's what I did and also if you're interested using your own uh, mail system you can you can check here but it's optional I think uh, most users if it's just a personal blog you don't need to worry about this part okay so let me just um, come here go to config put this in let's see all right that's good so we just need to change domain to our domain and that's it um, now we can just start So I have already pulled the goals image locally. Um, if you, it's the first time you started, probably you need to wait for wait some time here. Um, logs, um, just you know, checking if um, goals is up and running because it takes some time for them to set up the permissions, set up the roles, etc. Uh, so let's just give it some time. It should be ready in a few seconds. Okay, good. So it's up and running now. So let's go here. All right, as you can see, it's up and running. So what you need to do is just to go to goals and then set up your account. All right, so um, the next part I wanna show you. Um, so some of, the, um, some of you might not use blog. It's a subdomain for your blog post. You're probably thinking, can I use triple W here? Um, so I will show you how you can do that. So let me just remove this um, container first. And then we just need to change our um, host name. And this time I will just put the root domain also um, the triple W domain. So essentially, I just want um, uh, I just want traffic will be able to redirect um, the traffic to my root domain, the triple W domain, host and triple W dot. And so basically, these two host names will hit this service, and then we will need to use a uh, middleware to do the redirects. So I haven't set up the middleware first, but I just want to put the label in first. Where's, so what name, did, maybe I can name it as, um, maybe triple w dot redirect. That's a good name. And I will put it on file. So it's at file, okay. So let's just save it. The next thing I need to change is the config file here um, to triple W. All right. Once that's done, we just need to um, add our uh, redirect middleware. So how do we do that? We Google <laughs> traffic redirect. That's the one. So configuration all right so go to yaml file copy this um, example here uh, set again and then let's just paste it delete some of the redundant labels now all right it should be triple w hyphen redirect right so let's just type it triple w dot redirect and also 
the redirect will be go to from our base domain to our 3w dot domain right and now just go back to our goals folder start again the same we just need to monitor that I don't know why it's um it's weird. Maybe it's thinking so it doesn't give me the logs. But that's fine. Just keep trying. Now we can go here. So as you can see, our website is triple W now. Let me try to do this. Okay. So it will automatically redirect to triple W as you can see here. Perfect and ghost set up your account um, and this is just a procedure of setting setting up your account um, should be pretty um, straightforward i will just quickly show you what it looks like from inside um, i don't want to invite um so this is what it looks like um and as as I maybe I, I didn't mention but i think um, the back end of the ghost plot it looks uh, much better than WordPress but um, WordPress still um, has much more themes and plugins which ghost doesn't have um, so if you like to try something new ghost is a good um, good thing to try and but I still think if you are just want a plot to to start your blogging journey, um, WordPress will be a much easier option because just simply because there are so many themes and plugins. Okay, so um, I think that's all I want to cover today. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time, hopefully before the new year. All right, thank you. Goodbye.